guys, my name is Courtney Budzen and this is What's For Din. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a really easy but a super healthy and delicious spaghetti squash recipe. This has onions and garlic and fire roasted tomatoes, mushroom, tons of basil, ground chicken, and then at the end we top it with some delicious mozzarella that we put under the broiler so it gets nice and bubbly and melty. Mm. You're going to need some spaghetti squash, chopped up onion, garlic, a ton of basil, then I have some portobello mushrooms here, I have some uh, fire roasted diced tomatoes, some ground chicken, and then for spices I just have Italian seasoning, garlic, and cayenne. Those are optional but I like the additional flavor, and of course some grated mozzarella, salt, pepper, and olive oil. This is so easy, comes together really quickly. So the first thing you want to do is preheat your oven to 350 degrees because you have to bake the squash first. So what I did to prepare these was I cut it down the center and then I just scooped out the seeds to get all that gunk out. This is pretty much what it looks like at the end. You don't have to worry about getting it perfect because some of the strings will come out. So what we're going to do to prepare these before we put them in the oven is I'm going to add a drizzle of olive oil in each one. Whoop. To that I'm going to add a little bit of salt. This just kind of helps season everything and some pepper. All right, and then the fun part is you get to take your hand and just rub that all over. Okay, now all we do, flip them over. And we're gonna put this in the oven for about 45 minutes. You want it to be nice and soft, but you don't want to be, you don't want it to be too soft because we're gonna actually serve our dinner in the squash. I'll show you what I mean in a minute. But these are gonna go in the oven. We're going to take everything over to the stove and we're going to work on the insides, the saucy stuff. The saucy stuff. <laughs> so I have a medium sized saucepan over about medium high heat. I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil. And to that we're going to add our ground chicken. We're going to season that with salt and pepper. I'm going to break it apart with your spatula. And you want to cook this until it's all the way cooked through. So once the chicken is completely cooked, you can go ahead and drain any fat from it if you desire. And so now what we're going to do is add all of our vegetables in, including the basil. And just cook that for a couple of minutes. I'm going to add my fire roasted tomatoes and all my seasonings. So my garlic, Italian seasoning, and cayenne pepper. And a little bit more salt and pepper because we have to season the vegetables. This is a good stir. Now that everything's in the pan, we're just going to let this simmer on a low to medium setting until our spaghetti squash is done. So I just like to give it a good mix and put the lid on it. So I just pulled my squashes out of the oven and they're still hot and you should really wait for them to cool, but I'm way too impatient and I'm really hungry. So I just have an oven mitt that I'm going to hold part of this with. This is really simple. You just take a fork and you scrape it along the insides. And don't scrape too much of it because you want them to still stand on their own. You honestly don't have to serve this in the spaghetti squash, but I just think it looks really pretty. You can just scoop out all the squash and then serve it on a plate, wherever, however you want, or you could do it in a casserole dish. So now what I'm going to do is scoop out the squash carefully. I'm just going to put it in this bowl. So to my squash, I'm going to add what we made. We're going to give that a good mix. Okay, and what we're going to do is put that right back into our squash. And this is for presentation. Like I said, you can put it into a casserole dish and top it with cheese. I'm going to top it with my cheese. You can use any kind of cheese you want, and you can really use any kind of meat you want. You can use ground turkey if that's what you feel like you want to do. Okay, so now what we're going to do is put this back in the oven on broil and I'm going to do it until the cheese is brown and bubbly on top, so about two to three minutes depending. So just keep an eye on it and don't walk away so your house don't catch on fire. And uh, then I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. My squashes just came out of the oven. They were on broil for about three minutes so they could get that nice brown topping. You can see that the broiling definitely makes a difference in the cheese. Ooh, it just smells delicious. It looks really pretty. Be careful when you are broiling it. I should have probably taken the stem off because it's very possible that this can catch on fire. The other times that I have done this, I had cut the stem off and I didn't even think twice about the fact that the stem could catch on fire. So 
Just a little precaution so your house don't burn down because of me. Just saying. Mm. Who knew healthy food could taste so good? So if you want to remake this recipe, just look below in the description box. I'll leave all the measurements as well as the written instructions. And if you did like this recipe, don't forget to smack that like button. And if you're not already subscribed, please don't forget to subscribe because I have many more recipes to come. And as always, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you soon. Bye.